This season, the NBA offensive explosion has continued as the average point scored by NBA teams is at its highest point since the 70s, and over 40 players are averaging 20 or more points per game. A few weeks ago, Nikias Duncan asked Steve Clifford about what defenses can do to counteract this scoring explosion. Me, is you have to be more aggressive. You can't sit back in a hole and hope they miss, you know. Now, while Steve was referring to aggressive defensive adjustments in the team sense, for example, doubling or switching to zone coverages, I think the idea rings true for individual defense as well. The best defensive players in the league have to be aggressive to get stops, especially on the perimeter. And one such player that I'd like to take a closer look at today is the masked man, Josh Kogi. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. Let's start with this on-ball defense. Kogi can effectively guard 1 through 4 and is often tasked with guarding the opposing team's best perimeter player. He's an aggressive and physical defender, really getting into the ball handler's space and making them uncomfortable. In this first example, he's on an island against Shea, who drives left and then crosses over to his right. Kogi loses him momentarily but does a good job getting back into the play and contesting without fouling. Against Steph, Akogi presses up on him and nearly steals the ball, but as a result is now on Curry's hip. He stays attached and manages to get back in front before Curry gets too deep. Another ISO situation, this time against Drew. Akogi swipes the ball but doesn't overextend himself, staying in front the whole time, and that's a great contest. At only 6'4", Akogi is undersized for someone who is often starting at power forward but his 7-foot wingspan makes up for this height disadvantage. His ability to backpedal and still contest jumpers like this is really impressive. With Aiden and Biombo at the 5, the Suns usually defend with a deep drop, which puts pressure on the perimeter defenders to navigate through screens and contest from behind. While Akogi does get hung up on these screens sometimes, he does a great job of contesting from behind or maneuvering back in front of the ball handler. The Suns also ice pick and rolls, sending the ball handler towards the sideline. Notice how quickly Akogi gets back in front here. Akogi also has very active hands. He racks up steals by getting into passing lanes and pressuring the ball handler. In this clip, he pressures the ball immediately, then peels off his man on the pass for the steal. Here, he picks up Curry at half court, waits for him to expose the ball, then just takes it away. This has cost to your strength. Victory has defeated you. Again. Early ball pressure anticipates the pass, and the Hornets certainly make things easier with some awful spacing. Matched up with Kyrie, Akogi presses him full court, backs up momentarily, then anticipates where the ball will be on the crossover. Same game, he ices the ball screen and intercepts this pocket pass. Kogi's length and speed has resulted in him getting quite a few chase down blocks this season. Look at how much ground he makes up in these examples. He's a good two or three steps behind, but turns on the Jets to catch up. As good as his on-ball defense is, I think Akogi's off-ball defense may be even better, and it really demonstrates how smart of a defender he is. Here, Sarge gets a little confused and loses his man on the pump fake, 
So Okogi peel switches and just takes the ball away. We're in this sideline out of bounds situation. We've got 2.6 seconds on the clock. Okogi is guarding the inbounder, so he just doubles off the pass and erases his future teammate shot. This one's really impressive. First, Okogi calls for the switch so he can help on the drive. Then sprints all the way out to the perimeter for a really good contest on the best shooter ever. Okay, so here we've got a DHO at the elbow, and Murray is just probing until Okogi clears to the corner so he can go over the top for Jokic. But Okogi sees this coming the whole time and sprints over on the pass to intercept the ball. Okogi's ability to help and recover is truly special. He leaves the corner to help on the drive, then sprints all the way back out to the perimeter and blocks the shot. His reaction time is truly stunning. Plays good on ball defense, then peels off to save a layup after Booker fell asleep. Kogi's length, IQ, and quick reaction time allows him to play deep in the gaps. In this example, Biombo is attempting to guard Shea one on one, so Kogi is ready to help. Biombo smartly forces Shea baseline, and Kogi comes over when Shea picks up the ball. Here, Okogi comes all the way over to the nail to help on the drive, then casually recovers one pass away for a good contest. This deep help and aggression can burn Okogi at times. Looks like Sabonis is waiting to see if Okogi is stunting or not. Okogi stays, so it's an easy pass to Herder, who is definitely not shy about shooting it from that deep. And of course there are times where his aggressive defense puts his teammates in disadvantageous situations. Right here, he denies the DHO, so Aldumbo back cuts right away. And now Kogi is trailing, so Landry Shamit is the only one who can stop the dunk. And that's just an unrealistic ask. Kogi has always been a very good perimeter defender. But like I mentioned earlier, he's been playing a lot of the power forward position with the Suns. This is made possible due to his ability to contest shots at the rim as the low man. On this play, Okogi starts out on Bane, but the down screen forces him to switch onto Clark. And on the drive, he steps up to take the charge. Different situation, same result. His man screens for Jokic. Okogi anticipates where Jokic will be and draws the offensive foul. Here, he switches off of field so he can help on the drive and blocks Matherin for the third time in one game. On this one, he walls up Lamb on the roll, doesn't get over in time to take the charge, and instead skies for a monster block on green. All in all, Okogi has been one of the most impactful perimeter defenders this season, and his contribution on the defensive end will play a big part in the Suns' postseason success. It's open. Van Carroll had it blocked by Okogi. J.O. breaking out the eraser. Wow! Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you.